How's it going guys? I'm Dr. P and welcome back today for another Fortnite Battle Royale video. Now in today's video I want to make some connections to a bunch of stuff we've seen throughout the map including the bunker, the missile silo, and a whole bunch more. If you enjoy the video be sure to go ahead and drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. If you want to enter my V-Buck giveaway for this month it's super simple. Just drop a like and check the first link down below. It really is that simple and with that said let's go ahead and get straight into it. So as I'm sure you guys know there have been a lot of updates that have been kind of mysterious in Fortnite. Nobody really knows why a missile silo was added near snobby shores and no one really knows why this bunker was added to Wailing Woods but I do think I've started to piece together the story and I want to share everything I've discovered with you guys because like I said I think it's pretty groundbreaking so I literally have so much to talk about in this video it's tough for me to find a starting point but I guess we'll go ahead and start with uh, Risky Reels many of you guys may know this location it's a new spot that was added to the northeastern part of the Fortnite map along with season 4 and essentially it's a theater by the name Risky Reels you could probably assume that but it actually does have different shows different films that are playing or at least different films that they have written on the sign. Many of you guys might not know this but the Risky Reels sign actually is frequently updated so when it first came out this is what it looked like it says Revenge of Breeze Dog Part 2 it came from Moisty Meyer and what is it? An ant and ant story. Now the one that really catches my eye personally is the second one. It came from Moisty Meyer. Now bear in mind that location, Moisty Meyer. There have been a lot of reports, a lot of leaks, even before season four started, that Moisty Meyer would be removed or deleted in some way before the end of the season. Now it looks like Moisty Meyer is becoming a very, very popular spot with season four. At least it's referenced a lot and I've got even more information later. So let's go ahead and move on to the updated uh, Risky Reels sign that you can see right now in game. So it actually says Carbide's Return and then also at the bottom Omega's Revenge. Now you might be asking yourself who is Carbide and who is Omega? Carbide is the skin that you can get right away with the battle pass and you can upgrade it along the way. It's kind of bluish. Omega is the final skin you get at tier 100 and he is the villain. He is the red guy. He's the villain of this storyline. Bear in mind everything I've told you about Risky Reels in the sign for the remainder of the video because everything will come in handy. I don't know how many of you guys are aware, but there are actually secret blockbuster challenges every single week. And if you complete it, it will actually give you this graphic. So I'm going to show you guys week three and week four's uh, blockbuster challenge graphic. Now, if you look at week three, you can actually see it looks like Omega, the villain, uh, is at the prison, which is right beside Moisty Meyer. So it looks like when you say it came from Moisty Meyer, it could be referring to Omega. Omega could have or originated from the Moisty Meyer. That might be why uh, the superheroes are trying to hypothetically uh, wipe out Moisty Meyer by the end of the season. It definitely could be a theory. Week 4's challenge graphic offers a lot as well. If you look at this, you can see Omega, the villain, now commanding an army, it looks like, of robot soldiers, or at least metallic people. I'm not exactly sure what that what that is, but you can clearly see he looks angry. He's got his hand in the air, and it looks like he's commanding these 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 soldiers. Now, this is probably linked to the updated Risky Real sign. It actually says Omega's Revenge, and it definitely looks like he's angry. And it looks like he's plotting revenge. He's got a very very angry uh, demeanor about himself, and it looks like that could definitely be what this is. Would not be surprised if he's plotting some revenge of some sort. But the question would be, for what? What's the storyline? Nobody truly knows. This is when the bunker and the missile silo come into play. So, like I said earlier, there's a bunker in Wailing Woods. I'm sure you guys know about that. And there's also a missile silo with a huge rocket. Could it be possible that this rocket was placed there by Omega and his revenge could possibly be blowing up Moisty Meyer or just hitting somewhere anywhere in the map with this rocket? Who knows? And that would definitely explain why there's a bunker in Wailing Woods. Now, this could be some sort of a fallout shelter, some sort of basement to protect them from any sort of attack Omega might launch. I'm not going to lie to you. I think I'm making some pretty strong and valid points. We're only going to have to wait to see what happens. 
But if there's one thing that I can say with the utmost confidence, that is that everything that I've detailed in this video, from the silo, to the bunker, to the blockbuster graphics, and even to the risky reel signs, they are all linked in some capacity. And it's not a coincidence that this is all happening at the same time. So if I were you guys, I would definitely pay attention. You know, uh, I would I would highly suggest subscribing to the channel because I'm I'm covering every single aspect of Fortnite for you guys. Honestly, if you want to if you want to be up to date with all the latest theories, all the latest news, all the latest information, make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already. We're getting close to 300k subs, which is unbelievable. So thank you guys all so much for that. I really really appreciate it. So with that said, guys, hopefully you have a great day. Hopefully you let me know in the comments what you guys think about everything I've said in this video because if I do say so myself I think this is one of the best videos I've made in a while so with that said I'll see you guys later and peace out